Hello and welcome back to another explaining video in Minecraft where I explain geographical stuff in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. So today we're going to look at how we in the Netherlands survive being below sea level. Because as probably all of you know, some parts of the Netherlands are below actual sea level. But without any protection, such as dikes or the dunes or any other ways of protecting ourselves, these parts would be underwater. But luckily we have found some ways to protect ourselves from this flooding. First we have to look at the four different types of polders we have in the Netherlands. The first type of polder we have is the sea polder. These polders are created by making a dike or a dam around old salt marshes. These salt marshes are undeep areas near the coast where when it's high tide the water will flood in and when it's low tide the seawater will flow out. So by building a dike around it you will have created a sea polder. Next up is peat polders. So around a thousand years ago in the 10th century people had the idea to dig up peat. Peat is a substance which is made out of dead plants and animals and because it is in the water it doesn't mix with oxygen and it doesn't dissolve. But people started digging ditches so that they could harvest the peat so they could use it as a fuel. Just like we now use coal and oil as a fuel, back in the day they used peat as a fuel. But by making these ditches the water could run out. This caused for compacting. Compacting means that when the water is removed from an area, the ground level will start to fall down. This happens when the ground is very weak and peat happens to be very weak. So the peat started compacting and therefore became a lower part. And in the end you will have a peat polder. The third type of polder we have are reclaimed lake floors. So we found the lake and we thought to ourselves, wouldn't it be a good idea if we drained the lake and made it useful land. And that's exactly what we did. We built mills, we built pumping stations, and with these mills and pumping stations, we drained the lake so we could use it. And the last type of polder we have in the Netherlands was only recently in the 20th century. You see, about 100 years ago, the Afsluitdijk was built and the Zuiderzee became the IJsselmeer. We could control the water level in the IJsselmeer. Eventually, by draining it and by adding new land, Flevoland was formed. And so we had the Isomere polders. So now we know which type of polders we have. But we also need to protect ourselves. To help us keep safe and not be drowning, we have come up with three ways to protect ourselves from the ocean. Because, as with every place, there is erosion. So the dikes we have, we can strengthen up by making sure that the dikes have enough ground, are wide enough, are strong enough to hold the water back. Where there is no dike but there is dunes, we can add extra sand. We can literally pump up sand from the bottom of the ocean somewhere further away and bring it back to the dunes and the beach and pump the sand back there. So we add extra sand to the dunes. This is what we call beach nourishment. This is all done by humans. But also nature has her own way of making sure that we are safe. Because not only erosion takes place, but also sedimentation. So if the dunes are big or wide enough, it is not immediately harmful if erosion takes place. But we have to be sure that eventually also sedimentation takes place. So some part of the dune might be eroded away, but eventually, due to sedimentation, the dune will get bigger again. This is what we call dynamic coastal management. The sea is allowed to break through here and there, but eventually it will also repair itself. But not only do we have dikes and dunes, we also have a tidal landscape. A landscape that is affected by the tides, high tide and low tide. We find this type of landscape in the Wattensee. But due to the sea levels rising, we need extra sediment to make sure it is equal. So we add extra sediment to those areas. All right, so in short, you now know that there are four types of polders and that we have three ways of protecting ourselves from the ocean and flooding ourselves. I really hope you learned something new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.